So the Jews are in their last year in the desert. And what a surprise, they're complaining again. This time about the water and the food, even though it's still being miraculously provided to them. It's like the joke about the Jewish couple who go to the hotel in the Catskills. They come home and their friends say, how was it? And they say, oh, it was terrible. The food was awful. And the portions were too small. You just can't ever make us happy. This time when the Jews complain, God gets upset. And he sends snakes out to bite the Jews, to poison them, and they start dying. Snakes are really scary. Even legendary macho men like Indiana Jones are scared of snakes. And so the Jews ask Moses, Moshe, to pray for them, and he does. And God tells them to build a snake, to mount it on a pole, so the people will look up at it and be healed. Moshe builds a copper snake, puts it on a pole, and in a scene that is often depicted by artists, the Jews look up at the snake and they're healed. The commentators explain that God didn't actually send the snakes, he released them. The Jews were in the desert. There are snakes in the desert. They had always been there. But for the prior 39 plus years, God had been miraculously protecting the Jews from snake bites. But now in light of the latest complaint, it's like he's saying to them, you bunch of whiners, how about them apples? Enjoy the snakes. And he lifts his protective veil, his cloud, and the snakes come out. So why the copper snake? Because God was trying to send them multiple messages. He wanted a Jew who had been bitten by the snake to look up at that copper snake and say, wait a minute, I was bitten by a snake and now I'm going to be healed by looking at a snake? Oh, I get it. God's trying to tell me it's not the snake that kills, it's the sin that kills. And he wants the Jews to look up not just at the copper snake, but up to heaven to put our faith and trust in God to heal and protect us. And he wants to send a message to them and to us that there will always be snakes on the road, temptations, challenges, illnesses, accidents. The rabbis in the Talmud tell us that we should pray every day for mercy and ask God to keep us healthy. Because if we wait until after we get sick, it takes more merit to convince heaven to heal us than it does to not let us get sick in the first place. But we don't heed that advice. We wait. We wait until we're in the foxhole, or in the ambulance, or in the operating room. And then we start praying with gusto for God to save us. And we should. But we'd be better off if we heeded the advice of the sages, and took that ounce of prevention, and prayed every day, God, thank you so much for making me and my family healthy. And please, keep us that way.